in the heart of New York's Hudson Valley, where Washington Irving's headless horseman rides. A new spooktacular tradition has arisen. Take one humble jack-o'-lantern, multiply it by 4,000, add some whimsy and creepiness, and you have yourself the great jack-o'-lantern blaze. The jack-o'-lantern is an Irish creation. Artist Michael Nottiello and his team transform this colonial manor house into a Halloween wonderland using real and molded plastic faux pumpkins they call funkins. So why use funkins at all? Well, they don't rot. And how do funkin seeds taste? Uh, they're, they're kind of chewy. No, <laughs> there's no seeds. Nottiello creates dinosaurs, skeletons, even crates of lost souls. Now these are um, what are referred to as soul effigies or angels of death. And they're all based upon 18th century headstones, um, many of which are modeled after the ones down at Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. 4,000 visitors a night come to marvel at the jack-o'-lanterns. That's a one-to-one -one ratio of pumpkin to person. What is it that it touches in people? Many people say it's like another world. That's got to make you feel amazing as an artist, to hear yeah, somebody no, say you created another world. Mm -hmm. That's kind of... That's the ultimate compliment. While Natiello is haunted year-round by the need to create new and ghoulish gourd designs, you know what they say. It takes a village to make a blaze. So every October, hundreds of candle lighters, carvers and volunteer scoopers descend, knives in hand. Why are you so strict about scooping? It's a battle against mold. But mold always wins. So... Almost all the pumpkins we do per week, we replace. So if you come and you see a real pumpkin one week, the next week that real pumpkin won't be there. So it really shows all the different types of things that we do, because you'll never see two of the same real pumpkins scooped ever. They're snowflakes. <laughs> They're right? snowflakes. Each pumpkin is a snowflake. The first jack-o'-lantern was somewhat sinister, according to Irish legend. Story goes that a wily blacksmith named Stingy Jack cheated the devil one too many times. So when St. Peter bounced him from the pearly gates, even hell wouldn't have him. Stingy Jack was doomed to wander for eternity, but at least the devil tossed him an ember to light Jack's lantern carved from his favorite food. The original jack-o'-lantern, though, had been a turnip. It wasn't a pumpkin. So, but when they came here, out to the U.S., they adopted the pumpkins. And those pumpkins by daylight appear fanciful and fun, but by night become eerie and awe-inspiring. There's so many little intricate carvings. You can't walk through here in just a few minutes and see all the detail. It's incredible artwork. Thanks to Stingy Jack, the legacy of the lowly turnip has caught fire here at The Blaze. <laughs>